Welcome to the madhouse. <laughs> sometimes what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to another video by yours truly the night support today we're talking about our all-time favorite original mages at HHN from the years I've been since 2011 all the way to 2018 uh, we we're talking about all the original mazes that um, really that I really just enjoyed had a great time doing um, and yeah so these aren't in any specific order these are just as I was looking them up this is what I just wrote down um, but these are like my all-time five favorite um, so like three of them are music related, so I, I, I kind of included them as originals because yes, the musics are IPs, however, the maze designs for the music ones were all original ideas, so that's why I considered the music mazes an original. Uh, as well as another one that was at the event last year, which was based off a bunch of IPs, but they took their original take on it, so we'll get more into detail when they come around. But number five is going to go to Clowns 3D. Now, Slash did the music for this maze, and this isn't the first time we have it. This was actually the first time we saw Slash at the event, but now he's no stranger to the event. He's, came, he's come back to do Universal Monsters last year, and he came back to do, of course, Universal Monsters, The Wolfman Meets Frankenstein, so... Um, we, I'm very excited to see what that maze is like. I loved Universal Monsters last year, and I have a big faith that uh, Frankenstein meets the Wolfman is going to do just as good. And uh, Clowns 3D was no uh, stranger to that. Clowns 3D was really fun, really uh, interactive. It was kind of like our Killer Clowns before Killer Clowns happened. And ironically, it's happening in the same location this year, so that's fun. But nonetheless, I loved Clowns 3D. The smells, the sights, the, the whole story behind the clowns, and of course, the original music Slash did was amazing. Transitioning into number four, a slash original music maze that he did, which of course was the Universal Monsters at 2018's Halloween Horror Nights, which I enjoyed a lot. That was probably my favorite maze of all time last year, so going into that maze, yeah, it's a bunch of IPs, but they did an original twist on them. They made them scarier, and they just kind of mash them all into one, and I really enjoyed that. I really had a fun time going through it uh, multiple times. I really enjoyed the music that Slash put together, it was awesome, and I know a lot of my uh, friends, hot friends, still listen to that music to this day, so it, it shows you what Slash's music is doing to the event and how uh, much he's uh, really put a toll on the event, so I'm very much looking forward to seeing what he does with Frank Stein meets the Wolfman. Number three is going to go to Alice Cooper Go to Hell. Um, Alice Cooper Go to Hell was a fun original maze that they brought his music to life, the, um, the Go to Hell album was uh, no stranger to the uh, event because they, you know, like I said, they brought this album to life and it was really cool. You get to go through the seven stages of hell in this maze, which I thought was really cool, and you get to hear a lot of the iconic songs from Alice Cooper. So that was the second year they brought in Alice Cooper, which is going to transition to my number two original favorite maze, which was, of course, Alice Cooper Welcome to My Nightmare, which was the first time we had Alice Cooper at the event in the 2011 event. That was the first year I ever went to the event, so when I went through this maze, it was really really memorable and really fun. I, I really enjoyed it. Uh, Welcome to My Nightmare, of course, one of the big hits. School's Out, everything like that. Uh, I, I really just enjoyed this maze. I remember I remember it vividly like I went last year or yesterday. So, uh, the music mazes, in my opinion, they've been all metal and I've loved them. That's why I think I <laughs> put them in my top. And of course, my last and number one all-time favorite uh, maze in the event overall that I've, or all the years I've been through, this is like the maze that like really stole the show for me because it's one of my favorite bands of all time which is Black Sabbath 3D, uh, 13 3D. Uh, I remember going through this maze just more hyped and excited for the music more than the actual scares um, and the scares were phenomenal on them. They had uh, the music playing with uh, different scenes that they put together which I thought was an amazing turn and twist for the songs and it really brought the songs to life and it got to get a visual of what those songs look like. I really enjoyed this maze. I love Black Sabbath. I've seen them. I, I was fortunate enough to see them on the farewell tour. So I really love uh, this is one of my favorite bands of all time, and I really love what they do with the maze. So that is going to do it for my top five original mazes. This is video number one out of uh, three that we're doing for HHN related. Actually, one out of four that we're doing HHN related this week, just to get us hyped and prepped for HHN. Hope you guys are just as uh, hyped and. Uh, prepped as I am. Thank you guys for watching this video. Thank you guys for getting us to 600 subscribers. 
Also, 500 subscriber giveaway ends this Saturday. We're going to be picking a winner during our HHN vlog, so be sure to enter. The uh, video is on my channel. Go check that out to see how to enter. There's three chances you can go and enter, so make sure to watch the video to find out how you can do that. Follow us on social media at Knights of Four on Twitter, at The Knights of Four on Instagram, and be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification every time I put up a video because we're going to be hitting them hot in the next probably two, three months because we're just going to be going to the uh, haunts every week and stuff like that. So we are very excited to see you guys at the haunts and we can't wait to go to HHN, Not Scary Farm, Haunted Hayride, Queen Mary. We'll be there. Thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys at the events. Bye.